hi so may so this is part of making this dress if no if you've not watched the drafting of this dress please kindly do so and let's sew together so this is me joining the shoulder together after joining it i've weaved this as you can see in this video after joining this the next thing i went ahead was to sew one part of my dress together and leave the other part open the reason for this is because I want it easy. I, will, I want it to be easy for me to be able to sew my strap casing. So that is the reason why I left the other side open. So it will be very easy for me to sew my strap casing. So after getting the right, the next thing I went ahead to do was to measure my full bodies. Now I for my um, strap casing, so I have 26 inches, so I times two, which is going to be 50 two inches so i measure 52 inches length and two inches width so this is for my strap casing where my strap is going to pass into now you can make yours two and half if you're not sure you're going to you know sew it right but the least you have is two inches shouldn't be more than that and the reason why i made my two inches was because i want my strap to be very bold so i made it very bold and i wanted to be able to pass through it easily without any interference so after measuring two inches width and um 52 inches length i went ahead to cut it so i cut it and i weaved it round so that i know i can just sew it easily instead of you no know, folding it as if i'm being i'm folding it by us so after doing this the next thing i went ahead was to attach it to the dress So at this point here, I was making sure I had the right um, strap casing to avoid any mistake. So as you can see, I'm placing it on my dress to make sure I have the right measurement here. So at this point, I've already attached it as you can see in this video now i've weaved it round and i sewed it on my dress so i have already sewed one side of the dress close and as you can see i passed it round the body and i left the other side open so i was measuring if i had the right length where my strap was going to stay which i from the beginning was 15 inches as you can as you notice so this is one side close where the strap passed in round and this is the other side open so the main reason for this was so that my strap can be able to go around the dress because if it's close together it won't be able to go around the dress so at this point it's time for me to close the other side as you can see in this video you have to close the two separately you can't close them together so you have to close the main dress first then you close the strap casing second differently so the reason for this is for the strap to be able to go around the dress that is the reason so at this point i have sold the dress itself and i have sold the strap separately both are being sold separately so after achieving this the next thing i went ahead to do was to fix my lower dress which is the gather so i went ahead to join all my straps all my pieces together as you if you've watched the previous video you can you will see that i have a lot of fabric so i joined everything together and i attached them to the dress so before doing that i also went ahead to also attach the sleeve so if you watch from my previous video this sleeve that i have here was already sewn sleeve that i cut out from a dress that i was not wearing so at this point i have attached my lower part of the dress as you can see i've sewed it and i've weaved it and i've also attached the sleeve as you can see in this video and at this point the dress is already coming in place is looking good and looking nice so as i said earlier the dress 
after sewing it i end up i found out that the dress was way too long so i didn't want it long so i went ahead to reduce it by three inches now this is correction that you can make when cutting your dress so i've already sewed everything and i realized that it was too way too long so i had to cut it so after making this correction the next thing i went ahead to do was to create a o from the strap now from the outside of the dress from the front of the dress you can see that the strap is not showing the casing is not showing but you will still see the line since it's going to be your dress so what i went ahead to do was to mark the midpoint of the dress where the casing is sold and to just make a slight o in it now at this point if you have before sewing your strap casing you can use um, a button hole stitch to create your o if you are very sure of it being in the middle but if you are not sure you can just do this the way i did mine so i'm just cutting the slight o now i'm not passing through the strap casing it's just in between the strap so after cutting the o the next thing i went ahead to do was to pass my strap as you can see my strap is very bold now if yours is as tiny as um if yours is as tiny as um a bias strap strap you can make your bow um your strap casing very very thin compared to mine but because i want mine to be very bold that was why i made it the strap casing very large which was two inches so for easy passage now as you can see in this video the strap casing was going around it was able to go around now this is the reason why i said the other side must be open must be sewn separately so after doing this next thing i went ahead was to you know just sew the down and you know sew the down and attach everything and this is the end of the dress can see the dress came out nice and it was looking so good so thank you all for your time i really really appreciate god bless you i love you please if you do this or if you try yours don't forget to tag me i love you bye